how the room may be set up. Each kit comes with a lesson plan that you can also find at wolf-ridge.org slash resources. Pick and choose activities according to the time you have available, as well as the length of hike you plan. Take all materials for the activities with you on the hike. Encourage students to use all of their senses during the hike and activities to explore their surroundings. Begin by listening to the Night Hike Sound CD. You may practice these sounds as a class and prepare to listen for them outside. The chart in the lesson plan shows peak sounds by month. All the materials for the other activities may be found in the blue bag. Take it with you and begin your hike. The entire Wolf Ridge property may be used for the hike. However, optional route possibilities can also be found in the lesson plan. Please do not go on Marshall Mountain for the night hike. You may ask your liaison for more details. Once the group is out of sight of the lights, stop and discuss how vision works. This information can be found in the lesson plan. Try having the students stare at the lit candle with only one eye. Blow out the candle and have them open their eyes. Discuss which eye has better vision now. To demonstrate that humans cannot see color as well at night, hand out the color squares. Students may guess what color they think it is. They may put it in their pocket and see if they were correct when they get back by the lights. At the next stop, talk about bioluminescence. Some plants and animals naturally produce light, such as fireflies and foxfire, which is glowing wood as a result of infestation by luminescent fungi. This information can be found in the lesson plan. If it's dark enough, pass out one wintergreen lifesaver per student. Demonstrate how to chew them with your mouth open. Watch closely and you may see some sparks. The explanation for this is in the lesson plan. At your next stop, students will focus on their sense of smell by guessing different smells in the scent jars. Hold the film containers under each student's nose for a few seconds and have them guess. The answers are listed in the lesson plan. Next, focus on the sense of hearing. Find an open area and with the blindfolds, play the bat and moth game. This game works like Marco Polo. Students should stand in a circle with two or three blindfolded bats in the middle. Choose four or five moths to be in the center of the circle as well. Every time the bats say bat, the moths must reply by saying moth. When all the moths are eaten or tagged by the bats, exchange players so that everyone gets a chance to be a bat or moth. Finally, talk about communication and animal calling. Try hooting for owls or howling for wolves. You may find it beneficial to end with students experiencing a solo hike. They can put everything they learned together and experience the solitude and beauty of night alone. Double check to make sure you have everyone before moving on. There are also different seasonal teachable moments, such as listening to ice booming in the winter or listening for different animal calls in the spring. Depending on the time of year, your group may be doing a light hike. You may use the same optional hiking route, but the activities will be different. For the first stop, explore your surroundings through sound. Students should go off trail, sit silently for five minutes, and attempt to draw out all the sounds they hear. Gather the group back together to share some drawings. At the next stop, explore through observation. Use the observation cards for things to look for along the way. Students may do this with a partner. Encourage them to use all of their senses to find what they are looking for. As a group, discuss what you saw. Lastly, facilitate a solo hike. One adult may walk ahead, dispersing the sensory cards about every five paces on the trail. Each card lists an action for students to stop and do when they reach each card. Send students down the trail one at a time. Double check to make sure you have everyone before moving on. You may choose to do the scent jar and bat and moth game activities from Night Hike with the blindfolds. Please put all materials back on the labeled shelves in the kit room. If there were any issues with the kit, such as low supplies, please inform your liaison. I hope you enjoy your experience with Night or Light Hike at Wolf Ridge.